November 30th, 2023. I ended the video again by accident. So we're gonna attempt to continue it. I have it in the sink here. Let me see if I can get this. freshly peeled green loofah that is not dried, it's not fully mature because it got too cold in the sink. Let me push the fisheye lens. Yeah, that gives us more. Okay. And I have a colander here because I want to, s the seeds are probably not going to grow, but there's, I mean, they, they might if we get a miracle. So right now, we're just going to, oh, to lower it. squeeze the loofah, squeeze the juice. If you know anybody who wants to exercise their hands, you can get them to do this job for you. Because it's very filled with sap, so it makes it very firm. Trying to get it so you can see it on the camera. Hold still. all the juice that's coming out. I can see anamorph saliva. <laughs> you can hear it squishing, I assume. Yeah. Very squishy. I suppose you could also just chop this into smaller pieces before doing this and then do it with smaller pieces, but uh, I didn't think of that, and oh well. So my hands are going to get super, super soapy. Not soapy, but slimy. It doesn't actually have like a disgusting gross texture, it just kind of feels like water, but just slimier. That really doesn't make sense, but like it doesn't feel gross. I thought it would. It's just kind of nothing. Get it seed up. Nope. Just drop. Here's. Not sure where the camera lens is at. Here's a seed that probably won't grow because unlike pumpkin seeds. When, they're full, when pumpkins are fully ripe, their seeds are white like this. But Lufa Egyptica, aka Smooth Lufa, aka this one, the seeds, when they are mature, will actually be black. But they're the same kind of flat shape as pumpkins. You could also probably do this if you didn't want to save the seeds. And I'm also just going to dump the sap that doesn't fall through here into a plant pot because I assume it'll be good fertilizer. Uh, you could just like put on some rubber boots or rain boots or something and just step on this to accomplish this part. Look at all that sap. <laughs> I, I feel like kids would really enjoy doing this if they like getting their hands dirty. This might have been more visible if I'd used the white string instead. If I squeeze it in the middle, it just pours out over my hand. And I'm just going to keep doing this. If you have arthritis, uh, one of the YouTubers I was watching has arthritis, and she said it really hurt her hands, so, uh, if you have arthritis, find someone else who can do it, or just, uh, I don't know, you could also, like, smack it with a wooden spoon or a hammer or something like that. I don't know. Here's a seed that's mostly clean. But yeah. Might not be ripe. Well, prob probably is not going to work. But we're going to plant them and hope for the best anyways. Because I want to.
to save seeds. I don't really see the point in growing something if we can't save seeds from it ever. Next year, we still have more loofah seeds from the loofah that somebody gave us for free last year, which is where we got all of our seeds. Last year, or next year, we're going to try planting them earlier and like actually getting them to start growing the fruit earlier if possible. I'm videotaping. You can say hi to the camera if you want. Look at all the sap that's come out. Can you use it for anything? I have no clue. I was just going to go in a plant pot. And we don't need to chop off the ends of loofahs at all, for the record. starting to get less sap even when I squeeze it all. You can see it. <laughs> so I'm just squeezing it and I get it on my camera. I really need like a phone stand that'll hold it up to wherever. Oh well, beggars can't be choosers. That got a lot of seeds out. Okay, so maybe just squishing in a little lick flat ways. Okay. With each other? Yes. Okay. I can film that for YouTube too. We have two at least at least two different cr Christmas cactuses, so she was telling me to pollinate them because they're both flowering at the moment and we want to try and get seeds. I have no idea what Christmas cactus fruit looks like. Squish it. And you can be as rough as with, with this as you want because it's a sponge so you can't really hurt it. It would definitely be beneficial to find somebody who has good hand strength because it is very firm right now. It's filled with the sap. Okay. Here, if I can get it down here. There's the inside on one end. And the other end. This is a skinny end. I had a wooden spoon I was using, but you can see that this ha this one has three chambers, and then an opening in the center. Oh, my phone is saying, oh, there's 20% battery left. Crap. Okay. Well, anyways, I, if you have a wooden spoon, I was using a wooden spoon's handle to stick in here and go through the other end to poke out the seeds, but I guess this video has to end now before my phone dies and deletes it. Okay, that's a breeze my hand off enough to turn off the video. Okay, bye bye to save my phone.